I'm David Mason, the Director of Public Health for the Town of Sandwich. Uh, today we're doing public service announcement number 28. Today we'll be speaking with uh, Joanne Gake, the public health nurse, regarding our upcoming drive through flu clinic. And we have Chief Burke, uh, who will be discussing that with us also. And as usual, Chief will start us off with where we stand with our numbers in, with COVID in town here. Uh, good morning, Dave. Uh, as of today, September 2nd, we do have one positive case. Uh, we'll preface that by saying the, the test for that case was a uh, significant distance from here. Uh, so we're not sure it could be potentially either a college student or somebody working in another part of the state but still has an address here. So we're working on that. But other than that, uh, no additional cases and uh, excess of over 100 recoveries. Very good. So we're in good shape as we start looking forward to the uh, start of the school year. But we'll uh, speak about the f upcoming flu clinic, uh, which will be on September 16th, which will be a drive through uh, clinic. And uh, we'll have Joanne and uh, Chief talk about how that will work. Uh, keep in mind, you may not know, back in 2009, the Town of Sandwich did the first drive through flu clinic in the state. And it was a result of a mandate from the federal government at the time to be prepared for a pandemic situation in order to provide vaccination for people and that we had to turn the population over and provide vaccination in 24 hours. So that plan was put in place back in 2009. Just keep that in mind. We're now practicing it now. Uh, and we'll start with Joanne as far as how's, how is the flu clinic gonna work this year, Joanne? Okay, so it's much the same as a regular flu clinic just a different place, it will be at Wing School. We'll do September 16th and October 7th, nine to one or until we're done. Um, what we're asking people, well, first of all, it's for 19 and older. So if you're 18 or younger, you can wait until we get some state vaccine in and you will be able to have your vaccine probably in the office, but we'll go over that at some future point. Um, Right now, what you could do is you can fill out a form online, which is the regular insurance form that we use every year. It's fairly brief. So you will need your insurance cards. That's the private insurance, the Mass Health, the Medicare, and um, TRICARE if you have it. Um, you'll also be bringing the same cards to the flu clinic, the drive-through, when you come. So you can either fill this form out online print it out, bring it with you, fill it out. When you get there, we'll have forms there and we'll have people to help you. Or when you call to make an appointment, and we'll go over that, you can give us the information. We'll fill out a form for you and we'll give it to you when you get to the clinic, all right? So I just wanna point out, so it is a drive-through clinic. It, it is not just a you know, hey, stop by and get a flu shot. Right. You need an appointment to yes. be scheduled through your office. Yes, and so the appointments will begin next Tuesday. You can call from eight till four, and it'll be in a block of time. We'll say come nine to 9.15. And we ask that you come within the times you're given, not before and certainly not late, all right? Because we wanna keep this clinic flowing. They, that when they make that appointment, what's the phone number they're calling, Joanne? 508-833-8020. Okay, so, and then as far as um, it, how it will work down at the flu clinic, you wanna walk them through that, Chief? Sure, yep. Um, the slide that's on the screen right now, so entry will be down on uh, Beale Ave and Morse Road, down by where the old tennis courts are. That's gonna be the entry point. It's a long queue line. You'll go all the way around down Morse Road uh, you'll take a right at the condos and then enter the upper parking lot by the baseball field. There'll be a registration set up there where you'll be checked in and vetted to make sure, A, you have an appointment. Uh, if your forms are not filled out, we'll take care of it then. And then you proceed down to the bus loop where there'll be a tent set up. So if there's inclement weather, we'll be able to uh, still conduct the shots under the tent. Uh, you'll receive your vac you'll be verified, receive your vaccine um, at the tent. You will loop back around uh, to a 15 minute holding area. So there's a requirement when you receive the vaccine that we watch you for 15 minutes. There'll be a designated area with an ambulance and two fire department personnel standing by there. Normally what they do when you pull up, they have a post-it note, they write the time of your arrival, they count down 15 minutes and then they'll let you leave. Um, and then once you're done, you're gonna go out and take a right 
onto Morse Road and enter back onto Water Street that way. So it's a pretty controlled traffic pattern. We have significant area spread out, so we, we're not anticipating a ton of traffic. But to reiterate Joanne's point, come at your selected time. This is mapped out like you wouldn't believe in terms of timing. So we can't, if you're at 10 o'clock, you can't show up at 920 um, because this thing is set up to queue people through at a certain amount of time where you don't want any delays. Um, and like Joanne said, September 16th is the first one with uh, October 7th will be a, a second one. So Chief, based on your experience with drive throughs what do we not want in the car? So there's a couple things. Um, dogs or pets? Prohibited. Are prohibited unless they are a service animal and they need to be identified as such. Uh, obviously weapons are frowned upon um, in the vehicle. And this is alcohol. This is alcohol and uh, also loose fitting clothing. So uh, try not to wear five layers. Um, short sleeve shirts make it easy to access and be able to give shots. So be thinking of that, loose comfortable clothing, short sleeves, it's gonna be in September, so that'll be a, that'll be a good thing. Um, and that will again expedite the process. You also need your facial coverings um, or masks is both the uh, participants and our personnel will all be masked up. So make sure you have your mask on. And a lot of times when, when we we're gonna talk to you initially, the window can be rolled down halfway and stuff can be passed in and out that way. So it'll be a secondary barrier. And again, the mask needs to stay on uh, the entire time. So they're not getting out of the car. They'll drive well, through. Well, they, they might have to get out of the car if they need to get the shot on the other side to just, you know, turn a little bit, and some people have to. Okay, but, so. the, but the intent is pull them under the tent yep. and then through the vaccinate them through the window. And you have to put your car in park. This sounds, there's a lot of obvious things, but yeah. this is key. Um, put your car in park and make sure that if you are with a significant other or somebody, that when you get your shot, you make sure they've gotten theirs and you don't drive off. We learned that lesson 12 years ago. Um, so like pulling get, away with the gasoline nozzle yes. in the car still. Yeah, we've had a couple of those. So you'll see traffic control people there that will you know, basically tell you where to go and when it's okay to leave. But safety's uh, really important with this because there's gonna be workers going in front and back of vehicles. So we need to make sure that, and they'll have vests on and they'll be identified, but we wanna make sure it's, it's uh, very controlled. So putting your car in park, loose fitting clothing, no pets, alcohol, weapons, uh, of any kind and we'll do just fine. Very good. And Joanne, you want to speak to the type of shots that you'll be providing and yep. how that's being broken first, up? First, I just want to say something about um, the first part of the drive-through. We will be giving people the uh, vaccine information statements. We'll be answering questions. We'll make sure that they have loose fitting on so that when they get to the shots, it's just give the shots and not take off layers of clothing. And we'll be going through a short questionnaire as to their health. Okay. And that's mainly for COVID. Yep. Um, so the type of shots we have this year are the flu zone high dose, we had it last year, and the flu block. The high dose is for 65 and older. The flu block is for 19 and older. The flu block, however, is three times the dose of antigen as the regular flu zone. So we don't have regular flu zone that, this year, just the two high dose ones. Um, and that's because they're pretty much um, interchangeable as far as effectiveness, um, although the flu zone has to be for 65 and older. Okay, so during registration, you know, so there's two types of doses based right. on age groups. During registration is where we'll identify which alley right. in the tent people are going through. Right, and if you have a problem, you know, I mean, by the time you get to the shot section, we should know exactly what you want, or if you've changed your mind from when you first signed in. No, we should know that. Okay. When they come to the shot tent, then um, we will ask them another set of questions. The ones that we always ask for flu clinic. Are you in a blood thinner? How do you feel today? You know, do you have any issues that we need to know about, like a reaction from a, a past flu shot? Um, but that's nothing different from what we usually do. Okay. Anything else you'd like to add to that? Uh, no, just I think we're... The three of us have done it for yeah. almost 15 years now, so we're quite comfortable. Uh, again, it's a new location, but we have plenty of space, and, and just pay attention to what the rules are and listen to what you're told when you pull up, and it'll be fine. Very good. And again, if you're making uh, an appointment, you're going to call the public health nurse office at the phone number again. 508-833-8020. You can have more than two people in a car. 
You know, you can have five in a car if that's what your car, you know, if it's but one, obviously we'd have to get out. Okay, and we have a tentative second date set up, but we'll speak to that in the near future right. on that. Right. All right. Perfect. Well, thank you very much. Uh, please make your appointment for your flu shot. Be safe out there and courteous to others, and we'll talk to you soon.